Hi, I'm Pidge Matavish and welcome back to another DCG tutorial. So this one we're going to do a long question, question B1 from the 2015 paper. Okay, so it's always read through it. So a dozen satellites such as the one shown in the image on the right are in orbit above the Earth. They are used for a variety of purposes including communications and weather research. Figure B1 show, uh, below shows the plan, elevation and auxiliary view of a model of the Earth. The position of satellite S, which is used to beam television signals back to the Earth, is also shown. Uh, the satellite is in a fixed orbit above the Earth and has a beam angle of 30 degrees aimed directly at the Earth, as shown in the auxiliary view. The beam angle limits the transmission to an area with a circular outline on the surface of the Earth, which is shown as an ellipse in plan. So A, draw the given projections, clearly shown how the elliptical transmission area is located in plan, and B, uh, draw the outline of the transmission area in the elevation, including hidden detail. Alright, so nice autograph creation question there. So, as always, we start off with what's been given, and the scale is 1 is to 1. Now, I've set up the page landscape because it's quite a tall drawing, and you might not be able to see the spectator. I'm going to start right up at the top, or sorry, the satellite. So, I'm going to put in the satellite right up near the top and over to the right. So, you might not be able to see it, but it doesn't matter, it's not too important. As long as you can see the rest of the elevation and plan. Okay? So starting off with our satellite up here. So keeping it over to the right. Okay, we're well definitely not going to see that, but don't worry about it. The angle then down to the center of the model of the Earth is 15 degrees. So this is my 15 degrees and just with set square, so draw that down. The length down then from the satellite to the center of the Earth is 150 mil. That's our center there. And our radius is 45. Okay, so draw in the elevation. Radius 45. Now let's draw the plan of that Earth. So it's given us measurements between the bottom of it and the x y line. So it's 20 mil to the XY line, so 20 mil down. That's our XY line. And then another 20 mil down to the start of the plan. And I can mark the radius from that. Find the center. And put in that circle. Okay, let's put in the satellite down there and plan as well. So Okay, and your good review then. Is of the Earth, so we're going to go 45 degrees out from the center of the Earth and going to put in our auxiliary view up here on the left hand side. So, and then the height for the spectator. So I keep saying spectator, so I'm getting the height from the XY line here up to my satellite in the elevation. Because you're protecting from the plants, so you get the height from the elevation. This is where the satellite is. So I'm going off the page off here. So you can still see that. And the camera there, so that shouldn't be too bad. So I'll write, write that in there. That's a satellite. So join that back to the center of the earth there. And 
and the transmission angle was 30 degrees so if you go 15 either side of that line that's your transmission angle and we can project that down to the hits of the earth And that's giving us where it's hitting the surface of the earth and we join them together. And that's giving you a straight line there. Okay, so that was the transmission angle there of 30 degrees. Okay, and that is basically most of part A done. So it says draw the given projection. So that's the first part of it. So we drew the elevation, we drew the plan, and now we have the auxiliary elevation. Now we're just going to focus on the bottom part of the question here now. So the next step was to uh, clearly show, uh, or so draw the projection, given projection, clearly showing how the elliptical transmission area is located in plan. So this circular surface here is going to be an ellipse in plan. Okay, so to show the ellipse down here in plan, first thing we're going to do is rotate this circle out here and draw it out flat basically. Okay. So we want it to be flat, parallel to the XY line. So pin the compass at the edge of it. That was the center. Bring it out here. And if I project that center back down. I get a center of it here and I can just draw it in lightly as a circle, as a true shape, because that would be center point, same, same uh, length of the side. Just lightly draw that in. Okay, so that's the true shape of the circle. So what we're doing is rotating that circle out so it's flat. So I just brought down the center. So it's parallel here to the X1, Y1. Okay, bring that center point down and draw it in as the true circle that it is. Okay, it's a circular pattern. So that circle here now, what we're going to do is it gives us the two endpoints here for our ellipse. So it's all 45 degrees, so let's bring those across there, and here, and that was the center line, which is this point here, so we bring that center line down, that's going to give you a point on the ellipse here, and over here, okay, so basically what's happening is, so basically what's happening is this circle here is going to give you your, um, lengths from left to right okay and the heights are what we got from rotating back around to here what i do is i divide up one side 30 60. now because we're at the angle make sure your 30 60 is divided up at the angle that's just we we'll just divide up 30 60 we get a range of points Okay, and they're going to be the same to the other side. Okay, so if we just get points here and here, that's a point there. So we just label this, label that, that's say point zero, one, two, and three. Okay, so that's point zero here. We know we have one, don't have two, and this is point three. Okay, so if I've drawn these up, 45 degrees, we know our point one and our point two is on that line somewhere. How would you find them? Bring point one back to where the circle is flat, rotate it around, find you your distance in here and bring that back down. Same with two. So I'll do one and then I'll fast forward for the rest of the ellipse. So bring point one 
back up here to do the review. Okay, it's point one. Back up to the auxiliary review where it is on the flat there. That's point one. Rotate it around. So pin at your point zero here. Let at your point one. And rotate back around to the circle. So look, rotating it back around to where it hits the flat surface there. Actually, I'm going to draw. That auxiliary view in strong just so you can it stands out from the rest of it, okay? Circular surface here, that line there. That's your elip. So we rotate around to here, that's our point. Bring that back down at 45 degrees. And that is where point one is on our plan, okay? So we need to bring all the points from the true uh, true size here of the circle, the true shape of the circle, bring those points back up, rotate them around to where it's at the angle, and then project back down. So we'll do point two now as well, so point two. Again, back up 45 degrees till it's here on the flat. Rotate it around to where it is on the angle. Which is this point here. Bring that back down. And that will give you point two. Alright, so this is point zero, one, two, and three. And they've all been brought back down. So the same thing goes with the far side here. So let's let's put in the labeling just so it stands out. So what we have here, we have points 0, 1, 2, 3, this is point 9, and this is point 6 up here, okay? That was point 6 there. The center point is point 3 and point 9. Now all you need to do is, we have the heights for 2 and 3, which is also the same heights for um, 11 and 10, so bring them up. This is point 11 and this is point 10. And now do the same for points uh, 4 and 5. Bring them up to the flat, rotate them around, and bring the height back down to the plan. Okay, I'm going to fast forward for this. Okay, so that's all your points put in. Join them in freehand lightly and then you can go over it all strong. Okay, so that is the auxiliary view done and your ellipse then put in into the plant. So to do it, remember, it's a circular pattern, circular shape that's here on this line. Okay, but just because it's at an angle, you see there's an ellipse here in plan. So in order to find the true shape of it, it had to be rotated out so it's flat to the X, Y down here. Okay. Okay. So by making it flat and projecting it down here to the plan, you can see it as a circle. Then dividing up 30, 60, we've got a range of points. That was giving you the lengths of the points. So they were all brought up here to the plan. And the distance in was brought by bringing those points to the flat, rotating around to the angle, and then just bring projecting back down to the 45 degree angle, find all your points. So that is part A done. So draw the given projections clearly showing how the ellipse or elliptical transmission area is located in plan. So that's it done. Part B now, draw the outline of the transmission area in the elevation, including hidden detail. Okay, so to finish off the elevation, Now again, you should still be able to see this on the screens. So what I'm going to do is, it's all a graph projection, so obviously project up your points. So we're going to project all our points straight up here to the elevation. And I'm going to do one first, and then I'm going to fast forward through because it's straightforward enough. So I'll do point zero and point six first for you, okay? So 
If we project 0 0.0 straight up, and we project up 0.6 straight up, so this is point 0.0 and point 0.6. So that must be on that line somewhere. Now, because this is an autographic uh, or uh, auxiliary view, it's auxiliary elevation, and the heights were found from the elevation. That means these heights here are true heights when it comes to the elevation. So if I get the height from the x1, y1 up to my point zero, and they're all labeled, they should be all labeled from the plan, that's going to give me my height from the x, y line up to point zero, and that will give you point zero. Same with point six, this is the height here for point six. Point 0.6 and that'll give you a point 0.6 there. Okay, so the same is done with all the rest of them. It's going to be handy now because point 0.1 is the height for 1 and 11, 2 is the height for 2 and 10, and so on. Okay, so project all your points up and get the heights from the auxiliary elevation. Now once it's joined in freehand lightly, you can look at the plan to determine what would be hidden detail and what would be strong. So, so from point 1 to 7, it's going to be strong, it's going to be in the front, and then 6, 5, 4, 3 and 2 are at the back. So this segment of it is hidden detail. Now if you wanted, we're pretty accurate enough because point 0.2 seems to be right there. But if you wanted, because that centre line here represents the full circle there, you could say this point here, bring that up and where it crosses the outside is a point, but that's we have that already with 2. And here, we could bring that up to show where 7 joins to 6, so bring that point up. And it's going to be strong from there then to 8. 9, 10, 11, back to 0, and then this is hidden detail back down to 2, so that's still hidden detail, and then strong, then back to 0. Okay, and put in the, the earth in itself. Okay, so that is the question done. That's part A and part B. So I hope that looks again similar to something you did in the exam. And I uh, hope this helped. If it did, please leave a like. And we'll see you in the next one. Okay, thank you.